Well, the new year means a lot of new laws on the books across the country, in the United States, in the Lone Star State as well. And Texas school districts can now check if potential hires are under any misconduct investigations. A new state law is in effect giving campus administrators a new tool when hiring teachers. KTSM 9 News reporter Stephanie Shields joins us with more of the reaction to this new bill. It's called the Do Not Hire Registry, and it alerts school districts if an applicant is under investigation of any misconduct. We spoke with Socorro ISD, which is already using the system since it went into effect yesterday. Really what they're doing now with this registry is holding districts accountable to make sure that we are terminating those employees and not allowing them to resign. Before the Do Not Hire registry went into effect, there was no central database of teacher investigations. School districts would do their own background checks. Socorro ISD says the registry is helpful. Not only will we do the research, but we have this access just to double check. Now, apart from that, I'm referring to new hires, but the registry will also apply to any of our current employees. The database is accessible to administration through an online portal. Put in an employee or applicant's name and up pops their status. I was able to log in and, you know, see how it works so that we can upload any educator misconduct that needs to be reported. But some are concerned, including Ross Moore with the American Federation of Teachers, El Paso. In a statement, he says the registry raises the issue of due process. He says it could also be misused by school districts. SISD saying resources like campus surveillance should mediate that second concern. We use a lot of resources to make sure that we are not falsely accusing, falsely terminating an employee. As we've reported, a Tornillo High School teacher was arrested last month on two counts of improper relationship with the student. Local districts hope the database will help reduce this issue. We can screen our applicants and make sure that we're not hiring the wrong individuals for, for our school district. Being our number one priority, student safety, this is going to help us with that area. By April this year, TEA will launch a page for the public to search the registry by name, checking the status of any individual on there. In the studio, Stephanie Shields, KTSN 9 News. All right, Stephanie.